Welcome everyone to my second Skyward solo commentary. Um, welcome back. I, I hope you enjoyed the first one, and I hope you enjoyed this one as well. Just be sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I should find new headphones are coming soon that actually have a microphone, so my audio quality will get better. But thank you for sticking with me. My well the quality is not good in the audio. But um, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Canada. If you didn't know this, I lived there. Um, so, Canada's where I live, as I just stated. And although it, it, it is quite cold, um, I think how cold and devastating the climate is, is a bit exaggerated. Um, now, I know a lot of you have probably been thinking, but Purple Guy, how do you, uh, how do you record videos when, when you're in a place that's entirely made of snow, and, and you gotta live in igloos and stuff. Well, joke's on you guys, because I only have to live in igloos during the winter season. Um, is that watchdog? There's a watchdog following me. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not happy, I swear. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna get this guy, because he doesn't exist. Hello there, my friend. Um, but anyway, so... Since I live in Canada, and it's it's a fairly fairly cold place. I go skiing a lot, so I like to think I'm pretty good at skiing. I've gone skiing since I since the the ripe old age of two, and I've become a decent skier in that time. Um, so, because because here in Canada, it, it's it's cold enough throughout like a good half of fall, all of winter, and then a a little chunk into the spring that you can go skiing in, in the mountains nearby. Um, so it gets pretty cold. Well, the trick is going to be to jump down and hit him. Oh no! Please! Nope. I've got a strength block. I don't want to use it. But, uh... Oh, anyway. Um, back to skiing. Be because I started skiing at a pretty young age, and because I was able to ski, thanks to my, my cold region, uh, because I was able to ski more often than the average person, I became pretty decent pretty fast. And by the age of five, I was skiing black runs. And for any of you who don't know that, uh, black runs are kind of the, the sketchier runs down the, down the back of the hills. Um, green, blue, black, double black. And then double blacks are just, just pure sketch. Um, I'm not gonna like the fact that there's you guys, so I gotta knock this guy off. Ow, I knocked you off. I got him, okay. Hey, am I screwed in? No, I got strength. I don't think you wanna do that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, I didn't get that kill, I was worried I didn't. Ha, ah. <laughs> get out of my game. Okay, so, anyway. Um, so, so I went skiing quite often, and I... I was doing black runs. Now, obviously, I didn't do them well. I was five. I, uh, I just kind of skied down as fast as I could, going off jumps and flying up, like, 20 kilometers in the air. Now, obviously, since I was five and weighed, like, nothing, I, uh, it was very hard for me to take damage from landing in snow. So, I, <laughs> I didn't hurt myself or anything. I, I never broke a leg or anything. And to this day, I've actually never broke a bone, aside from a toe once. That's about it. I have no strength or anything whatsoever, and I'm winning that fight somehow. I don't have arrows. Um, okay. So... It was pretty great. I loved skiing. Um, now... As time went on... Th those just disappeared. I wanted those potions. Not real. I can't sprint. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was doing sketchy runs pretty early in my in my skiing career, which was quite amazing, and I, I loved it. It, it, was, it was really fun. Skiing, skiing's a fun sport. If you haven't done it, I, I highly recommend. The story I, I I've been ranting about skiing a little bit. Well, not ranting. I, I quite enjoy the sport, so it's less of a rant and more. Um, but. The story I want to tell today 
is a story which involves some whack accident which has to do with skiing. So I was skiing with my dad, who was also who's a pretty good skier to this day at the time, and I was about twelve or something. Um Uh, so I was like 12, and I was skiing with my dad and a friend. Now, um, so, skis, if you have them on right, the, the, the skis don't come off. So, now that I've become a, a fairly advanced skier, I was skiing with really high tension on my skis, which meant that the skis were pretty much welded to the boot. And were not meant to come off. Um, so that was what I expected would happen. The skis would not come off. Now, something went wrong, and I was skiing up on like a. It wasn't like an actual run. It was just kind of a jump thing where you did jumps and and little race courses and stuff. It was just a fun little course, right? And I, uh, it's the last guy. So yeah, okay. So, so I was doing the little jumps and stuff, and it was pretty great. So anyway, I'm uh, I'm going down this course, thing, this 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 big race course thing, and there's this one jump, and it is huge. Um, now when I say like big jump, you'd expect like like seven feet or something. That's that's big, but no. This thing's like 20 feet in the air or something crazy like that. So, it, this jump is kind of scary looking, and I'm, I'm a little worried about going on, on this jump. Um, he just isn't very easy. Not gonna knock him off, not gonna knock him off. Okay, so, I, I make the decision to go on the jump, and I, I, I go flying up the side of the, the, this giant snow jump, and I get launched into the air. Like, I'm going... I, I'm way high in the air. Um, and suddenly, my... one of my skis just falls off. Now, my skis... the, the way my... The, the, the way my bindings are on my boots, they're pretty much welded to the skis. The odds of them coming off are one in a million. Um, and that's when you're just skiing. Like, that's when you're actually skiing against hard ground. I'm not skiing. I'm literally... I don't like this guy. He's scaring me. Okay, good, 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 good. You say I gotta wait? What? How did he get here? Please, please, please. Well, before I tell you guys the rest of the story, I have to tell you a bit about binding strength. Now, the binding strength is how tight your boot and ski are together, so how likely your ski is to pop off of your boot. Now, this is determined by how advanced of a skier you are and how much you weigh. And the reason for this is because uh, your binding strength determines how, how much weight it takes for your ski to pop off. So if you weigh 300 pounds, you don't want your ski popping off when your foot is experiencing 300 pounds of weight. Because it's always experiencing 300 pounds of weight. Because you yourself are putting 300 pounds of weight on it. But if you weigh 20 pounds or something ridiculous like that, and you, uh, you're you experiencing 300 pounds of weight, then you do want your ski to pop off. Because that means your leg's probably going to break or something. Um, so, like, because your spook got caught or something. So, um, and then obviously, if you're a more advanced skier, you're not going to want your ski to pop off as much because you're, um, because you're, you're, you're more likely to be doing intense stuff with your, your ski and you don't want it to like come right off your foot while you're doing moguls. So anyway, I'm, um, I'm a little worried because since my binding strength was quite strong, I was a pretty advanced skier, so I uh, I had quite a high binding strength, which meant that my well just flying through the air without any pressure, the odds of my ski coming my ski coming off my boot shouldn't have happened. Like that shouldn't have been a possibility. 
Um, but yet something weird went on. So anyway, I'm, uh, I'm genuinely nervous going back to skiing the next year. Worried that the same thing that happened last year is going to happen again. Now, I know it's likely not going to happen because of how odd such an occurrence was, but I just have a bit of worry. Um, so I go out and I'm skiing down a black run that's fairly advanced, uh, again with my dad. I'm like 13 now at this point of the story. Um, and I'm skiing down this black run and suddenly the ski just pops off. Um, and we got completely new boots, completely new skis, so there was no possibility of this happening again. No reasonable ex explanation for how this happened again. And, like, my parents convinced me that this wasn't going to happen, because they had never seen in the past this happen to anyone. And I'm not, like, crazy heavy or anything, like, it wasn't that I was putting a ton of weight on the ski. Um, but it just popped right off. Um, but it didn't just come off. No, the boot actually broke. So I could no longer use it. So my choices were to ski down to where uh, we were supposed to go back to our, our cabin that we were staying at, or on one ski, which was a decently long ski down an intense run, because we were only halfway down, or I could try to just walk home. And if you've ever tried walking in ski boots, you know that it's practically impossible. Walking in ski boots is suicide. <laughs> um, now. I didn't want to have to ski one foot down such a long run, so I opted to walk back home. Now, I hiked a kilometer in ski boots, carrying my skis and, and poles and everything, back down to the condo, and it was, it was awful. I, um, that was probably my worst skiing experience. Um, <laughs> so, it was not fun. It was not fun. <laughs> um, and I don't think I have anything else to add on to that story. <laughs> Where is this last guy? I'm quite worried. Because I know he's going to be somewhere. Oh, he's right there. He looks... He's going to... He's kind of he's scary. Bruh. I don't have my strength pot. I use my strength pot. Uh-oh. Yes, yes. Please allow me to knock this guy into the void. I've got his gear is so good. His gear is so good. No. And why is he teleporting around? No. Lag. Oh, okay, I was the one who got myself killed there. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, this was fun. I'll do another one of these soon. My new mic's coming soon, so audio quality will be better. But as always, I will see you guys in the next video.